With the anthems done, the fans are ready. As you can see, it's a little cooler than some of the other action we have seen tonight. The temperature hovering just above 50. Winter is coming. So is the new man up front, Lucas Prato. And he's going to be the man that will be the point of a spear with Di Maria Dybala and Messi providing the heft. Lucas Prato, Atletico Mineiro, a man, started out at Boca Juniors, but they let him go. And now he's starting for Argentina, leading the line ahead of Messi, Di Maria, and Dybala. Take a look at this one. It will be intriguing to see how it plays out. But oh. Perujo and Arevalo Rios providing a little bit of weight in the midfield. Sanchez and the Seattle Sounders MLS Player of the Month, Nico Lodero on the flanks. And Cavani up front with Suarez. Mati Corujo joining Arevalo Rios, the San Lorenzo man. <laughs> well, the attacking abundance here today. Brothers in arms at the yard, Barcelona, they will be having their daggers in between their teeth, staring each other down tonight. An array of astonishing South American footballing talent, not just on the forward line, but in defense. The magisterial Diego Godin will be the leader for the Charuas. But Phil, almost too much of an abundance of attacking here. Can there be such a thing? Not in my book. As Romero parks his orders to Mendy. This will be a footballing pitch decorated with the best of South America, the majesty of this continent's football. Brilliant. Messi, the magnificent Suarez, having words with each other. I bet your milkshake will beat you. Not with that haircut, he says. Well, look out. Well, there are other blondie doing pretty well for Brazil. Of course, <laughs> if you are interested, Brazil and Ecuador going on. Check out BNSports.com for the latest. Chile and Julio Bascuñan with the whistle. Marcelo Barraza, Christian Schemann down the lines, and Jorge Luis Osorio, the fourth official here today. A smile on his face for now. Will there be a smile on our face in 90 minutes' time? He'll be smiling throughout the 90 minutes for this game, Phil. High octane, high profile, high quality all over. Final adjustments. Cavani, a horrendous start to the season for PSG with a nightmare of a match, but did score in his last encounter. And just look at those fans. We are underway. The fans are hopping. It's the sky blue and white of Argentina, the Albi Celeste, along with the sky blue of Uruguay. The skies have it. And a little collision in the midfield down at earth level. Taking the hit, Carlos Sanchez. Argentina come in to this qualifier, having beaten Bolivia 2-0 in the wonderfully named Estadio Mario Alberto Kempes in Cordoba. This stadium, the Malvinas, the home of Godoy Cruz from Mendoza. Lifted in Sanchez, glancing header down, but watching it roll past Sergio Romero. Some big players missing in action as well, Phil, for both teams, but Argentina, perhaps in particular, no Cunaguero, a big absence. And of course, Higuain. Still fighting his way back to fitness by scoring goals for Juve. Well played. Someone upstairs apparently wanting a good view. You can hear maybe not quite as good as you have watching in here. Ball bouncing wide and Romero will grab it. Manchester United where he cashes his checks. Although David De Gea is the one that Gets the starts most of the time. Good look at the lineups again. 
Funes Mori, Argentina born, Dallas raised before he ended up back in Argentina and now in Everton. Good ball. Di Maria, a deflection, changes the angle, doesn't bother Godin, just whacks it into touch. Got a certain target inside of him that you cannot miss in the number 18 shirt, Lucas Prato. Wonderful outlet. He'll certainly give them a different variation to what Kun Aguero offers. Is he going to be sharp enough like El Kun? Is he going to have that mobility? Probably not. But he has been hitting the back of the net for Atletico Mineiro and gets the nod by the new boss, Bowser. Off to the near side. Messi and a roar from the crowd. Falta. Straight away. Tripped up by Gaston Silva. Silva comes in. Messi's just too quick for him. Maybe a precursor when Granada ends up taking on Barcelona. Good look at Nigo Lodero. Filled out just a bit from when we saw him in his youth, but he's Excellent. gone through Ajax and Boca yeah. before hitting Seattle. Had some wonderful teams. Botafogo in Brazil, Boca Juniors, Ajax, Corinthians. There's a hell of a resume, Phil. Now he's... As you see it in MLS. Player of the month in his debut month for the ex national man. Chance Aye. forward, fighting off Suarez with a oh. bump. The whack goes wide. I'm and not so sure about this. Between this two ball's big bouncing in there, and they've both got a right to fight for this. Is this shoulder to shoulder? Otamendi fills his pants now. That's a complete barge. Referee tracking it. And. Suarez just uses a bit too much meat and potatoes on Otamendi. Emilia pressured far side, lifted forward by Emmanuel Mas. Nice start from Uruguay, Phil. It's very, very early, but confidence at the onset, the way they're pushing on and playing into Cavani, who as well, looks very sharp in his early touches. Arevalo Rios with a rugby tackle in midfield. Messi chipping it forward, spots the <sighs> run, but well covered in the back from Jorge Fusile. Still loose at the top of the box. Messi almost ran onto it. A magnificent attempt, wonderfully portable in its failure. Angel Di Maria recognizing the danger as soon as Messi got the ball and started his run like a teenager and a hot rod. He was off. Messi just under hits it by a fraction. Sanchez to Suarez, and the referee Bascuñan wants to have a little chat, how keep it in the bottle. How many times have we seen this emergence from Messi? He's been that way all of his career at Barcelona when he drops back, but we're seeing it a lot more now. He'll fade away from that wide position and drop back into that midfield in between the lanes, and then pull out big, beautiful peacocks out of his hat, not rabbits. Soft touch here. Ball just seems to love him. Back to Messi. Bangs. Good ball. Off of well Uruguay. Played. Near side. Fusile. Paisley. Put down and a nice chance. And again. What a tackle. Corujo, but then dispossessed. Ooh. Lodero upended in a hard challenge. Well, bit of a rush of blood here from Lucas Prato. As he loses possession here. It's a great tackle to win it back. A similar great sliding tackle, time to perfection, but right here, there's no question, he clips Nico Ladero. Very clever player by Nicholas here. Knows the challenge is going to come in and takes one for the team. But good hold-up play, that'll be good for his confidence, for Prato. Some good early touches and getting down and dirty here in the crowd. Full of support for him. Long ball. Otamendi sends it the other way. Again, finds Messi. Dances in and out of danger. Surrounded by four. Gets rid of it. Fabulous. Pushing forward, Moss. Again, the confines of the defenders on Messi mean nothing with his quick silver feet. Di Maria dispossessed. Argentina scrambling back, but a poor pass. Sometimes... This rivalry is not always flashy, sometimes more blood and guts than brilliance. It is a battle of wills as much as anything. 
record for most international matches played between the two. This is the 199th meeting. Quick touch in Fusile. Beautiful feet. Sliding in, oh. but dispossessed. Wonderful from Dybala. Again, no space, and the challenges coming in quick and fast. Suarez from long range. Gets it back on the bounce. Sending it wide. Prato lifting it over everyone. Javier Pastore, another one. I failed to mention earlier. The one's missing in action for Edgardo Bowser there. Good look at Carujo. Plays his ball in Argentina at San Lorenzo. That's who Bowser used to manage, of course. San Lorenzo and Sao Paulo in Brazil did a great job with them. Played some beautiful football. Managed quite a few, including Messi's beloved Rosario Central. Oh, what a pass that is from Mascherano. <laughs> Ball out far side. Of course, Messi coming up through Newell's. But somehow, Bausa convinced him to come back. Far side, Di Maria tries to slot it inside. And well shepherded back. Jimenez and Godin. Not many changes from... The wonderful Oscar Tabarez to this Uruguayan side Phil, dependent on a wonderful generation, aren't they? And these two, this two headed dragon up front, look out. Nice from Suarez. Dragon Good wants ball. to fight, looking ah. for Cavani, but back just in time, Funes Mori. Funes Mori stretches his neck, bones to get to this one. Suarez clapping his hand, saying, I was this far away from you, PSG man. Cavani, very, very unfortunate that. Funes Mori was let a half an inch smaller. That would have found him. Messi. See, we're on the non-tribune side, looking into the dugouts on the far flank. Oh. Back for Messi. Oh. Slaloms through, upended right at the arc. Flying through was Fusile. Again, imperious touch. Maestro finish of the run, inviting the challengers coming in, and they're coming in like Edward hands on Messi. He sees the blades flashing in front of him, man, and he don't back out. Look at that. The clashing rocks convene to deny him. Wonderful skill on the run, and you cannot run without your legs. Masterful again. He kicked just outside the arc it's as the, the national man in the book. Not just the control, it's the, the lynx eye vision of Messi. Seeing the targets ahead of him, like a slalom man skiing down like Alberto Tomba. He attacks them, he goes right at the heart of them. And these are big, strong men, Phil. And his concentration never wavers. And this one, Muslera. Knows very well, he better watch out. This will be towards Muslera's right hand side, but he will go against convention all the time. Messi, Messi. with the left foot, drives it into the wall, rattles over to the far flank. Good wall. And they will play for the corner. Did no, he did himself. He didn't get a little bit more height, but it's a jumping wall, and the wall does well. Ladero. Swinging away towards the six, flicked on by Suarez. Ladero again just getting a touch, and Messi will track it down. Talked about how many thought after that third heartbreak for the Albi Celeste when he left in tears and said he wasn't coming back. But when you watch at Barcelona, it seems as though, if anything, he's been reinvigorated, more focused. And it's worked for Barca. Will it work for Argentina? Oh. Almost met on the fly. Good idea, says Dybala. Dybala gets threaded through here by a magnificent ball from Mascherano. Beautiful. Into straight. And he just cannot meet the train at the station. Good attempt. It's the right thing with his left foot. He usually connects so more often than not. But what a ball from the Barcelona defender turned midfield player here tonight settled by Prato beautiful touch Messi oh. draws Corojo then dishes it off back to the middle for Pereira but Arevalo Rios in the way 
Asking a lot, but Silva gives a lot. Up steps Otamendi to intercept. Villa. Back off to Dybala. Argentina starting to control. So often you'll see this against the Uruguay side. Their yeah, wonderful granite type of absorption that they have in their defense, but it's a beautiful ball Di from Maria. Maschi. Uh, and slams oh. into Muslera. Looked like he lost his balance as he was touched, but That's, no call. Yeah, there's a whistle all right, but it's not for a penalty. Mascherano again, links eye vision, drops a rainbow pass, but beautifully covered. Brilliant from Angel Di Maria. That again, that's brave, hard defending. Just enough of a touch from Fusile. Trying to calm things down inside the six. Emmanuel Mas making friends. This will swing away from Fernando Muslera, driven in low actually and cleared by Sanchez. Back to midfield and Argentina regroups. Last time these two teams met, Phil, was in that Copa America uh, Centenario and Argentina won that one, won nothing. Tight game, just like this is. Last three meetings, Argentina has won two, the Uruguayans won. Yeah, all those great battles. Oh, Shadow got sent the wrong way. Back off to Mascherano, lift it what a over. Pass again. Cavani having to scramble back to defend. His passing feet are absolutely flawless here tonight. Mascherano from midfield. Di Maria had a go, diving in at Revelo Rios to clear. Almost falls for Dybala. Aye. Tried to caress it around Suarez. It's well tamed. Driven. By Jimenez over everyone. <laughs> Cries of derision from the Argentina fans. Is that all you got? Ah, don't be so confident. They're just waiting in the long grass. Suarez and Cavani lurking. Don't forget other action going on in World Cup qualifying. Check out BN Sports Connect. And share your thoughts on Twitter and Facebook. Off to the near side, Zabaleta. Down for Messi, shows it, tries to pull it away. Silva with a touch, but into touch. Right now, Paraguay kicking off against Chile. That's available on BN Sports Connect on BN3. Action tomorrow from CONCACAF as well. U.S., Canada. And Mexico all in action. Villa. Otamendi. But not on the same page. Poor record against Argentina, Uruguay. Only won three in the last ten away fixtures, Phil. The game started out with a really good home field advantage and it looks like all the Albi Celeste players have got their Football and feet on the right legs here tonight. Up steps Jimenez, but again it goes awry. Argentina getting off to a slow start in this qualifying round. Actually, took until game four where they were able to get a victory on the road in Colombia, but they haven't lost since. Shifting between markers all the time, Messi. Quicksilver to pick him up. Messi appeals for a handball and the referee agrees. It's a little unfortunate this one. The player very close to him. The ball strikes the arm as much as anything. At his arms slightly away from his body. Difficult one. Uruguay just one defeat so far that coming at surprising Ecuador coming off of a slim one nothing win against Peru Messi a little far away to shoot but don't put it past him everything it's gearing up for just, a pass got to be accurate here it's got to be a little fortunate against this Uruguayan big defense 
Whips it across and the whistle blows as soon as the yeah. ball is touched pushing. It's against Cavani I believe yeah he's being held there by Biglia. He's right on form tonight by the early first 17 minutes, Phil. And some razor sharp passing. You know why Barcelona don't play him in that midfield all the time? I think they just say wherever you want to go, Lionel. <laughs> Dybala upended at midfield. Seems to have maybe got something against the jaw. He's been lighting it up in Serie A, as we've saw. With every game, the improvement has been there, and there's that Argentina toughness. Yep, he just woke me up. That's okay. Gaston Silva, a naughty boy. Too far for Cavani. Uh, he's going to get a talking to. That could be considered delay, and it could be a yellow. That's a warning, is all it is. And it's one of those situations, man management, and defying the law, the law book, because this should be. A yellow card for time wasting but he's just been put on notice by the referee a little kind of him overall Uruguay have won three of the last seven against Argentina but as you said in Argentina it's been different four straight wins in qualifying for the Albi Celeste Zabaleta through Bilia, Mascherano, back to Otamendi. Dybala. Ah. Didn't see Sanchez. Sanchez looking long for Suarez, but well handled by Funes Mori. The Everton man, Shining, started at River Plate, and has become a real solid favorite of the lads at Goodison. Potter Mendy not quite so much at Manchester City. Still taking a little bit of convincing a lot of the times, but the two of them here tonight have been wonderful in shepherding that double threat and how a threat, Cavani and Suarez. Messi looking long, strikes into it, off balance Jimenez. The pass was beating him. Again, Jimenez launching himself in the air to deflect. Mas putting some pressure on Fusile. Deflects it to the inside, and Jimenez finally gets it out of danger. Jimenez did a great job defending that pass from Messi. Over that distance, it was stretching Jimenez back on his heels, and at the end, he had to just jump and hope that he got a touch on it, or else Messi's pass would have found its target again. Down goes Silva on the receiving end this time. Villa <laughs> slicing in to try and get the ball, but got the man. Active down this left side when the Charuas do get the ball. Gaston Silva joining in nicely, the Granada man. Poor touch from Lodero. Uh, Straight to Argentina, who give it right back on a throw-in. Little nerve showing, even though he's played in the big stadiums and really enthused the UV fans. A few rough touches from Paulo Dybala. Some of the Argentine fans think Suarez is making a lot of this, but taking his time getting up does draw the whistle. Take a look at this. It's a heavy challenge from the back. He'll Used to it, of course, but he takes a lot of abuse like that from the back in that indefatigable manner of showing for the ball, knowing he's going to get either bumped or kicked downstairs and never shies away. Suarez, world class. Rodero, see if he does better this time, hangs in the air. 
will be met on the backside by Suarez. Cuts towards the goal line, drives it across, and Machadano in perfect position. So unlucky Suarez that he doesn't get enough height on this ball because he's got a big vulture waiting at the back in the shape of Diego Godin. Another chance at the edge of the area. Suarez bursts through, but the ball goes elsewhere. Cavani with a swing and the miss. Well played. And now upended Revelo Rios. Knocking Prato down. The dean of South American coaches. Yeah. Oscar Second. Washington Tabatis. Second stint as the Uruguayan boss. Managed Boca Juniors two times as well. High quality, wonderful man. Zabaleta, wide for Dybala. Dybala back for Bilia. Messi, dancing over the blades. What a ball from Mascherano. Dybala cutting back to his left foot, hangs it back post, still loose. Pleading Gets for the it. touch, and Di Maria will get the corner. Wonderful ball from Javier Mascherano. Dybala sends a ball with love to the back post and nicely protected by Uruguay. Been shepherding Di Maria's runs all night long. Going to have to do it 90 minutes. Headed clear. Oh. Ludero, Messi disappears. Makes Ludero disappear. Cleared away by Godin. Phenomenal skill from Messi. Saw the challenge coming and he actually raids the tackle. He sees the outreach coming in. He knows his defender's going to get there before him, and he rides over the top of him, keeping control of the ball through a tackle. Di Maria, two men to beat, tries to drive it in, hoping for a deflection. Ride for Sanchez. Cuts to the inside, and then gives it right back to Argentina. It's Otamendi. Mascherano said it was Messi that convinced him not to quit the Albi Celeste. Mm. So the dominoes falling in Argentina's favor at the moment. Villa back to Mascherano. Pearson and Proben aren't there. They've really been very close to hitting pay dirt, but again, that Chirua defense is always going to make it. Look as if for long, long periods they're impervious, and then this guy gets it. Suarez from long distance saw Romero leaning away, but back in time. <laughs> Hearing the whistles. Music to his ears. Yeah. Oh, he's lost this one. Mashe says, I Good got you back. Corujo. But they couldn't hold on. Conor Balsa, solid player, a modest one, part of that 1990 team that almost won the World Cup but did not play in Italy. Well, he's very much a one-team man. You stick at a team like Rosario Central for as many games as he played, over 300, Phil. Must have been a good player. Got his managerial start at Central as well before moving to Vélez. Remember seeing him at Sporting Cristal in Peru and did a great job at Liga winning the Libertadores in Ecuador. He's got them on the tippy toes here tonight. That's another magnificent ball from Mascherano. Prato lifting it, trying to loft it over for Di Maria. But looking at Argentina now, is there a difference between the Bausa Albi Celeste and, say, the Martino one? Look nicely balanced to me, Phil. Look very assured in the back against probably the most lethal tandem in all of world football, arguably, when Cavani's on his game. He's been a little bit off colour at PSG, but they're handling him nice. The ball is starting to slowly warm into this game. The Ole is going around. They like what they see here. Dybala just on the wrong side as Jimenez pinched over. Again, beautifully mopped up by Otamendi. All it's an impressive start, is it not, from Argentina. Nothing to show for it yet, but certainly the danger signs are there for Uruguay. Grujo. And there's Mascherano snuffing out whatever flame Uruguay was trying to kindle. One of them nights is here, there, everywhere. Ah. 
Still no 27th minute halfway done. Again, it's Moss in for Di Maria. Tries to return the favor. Well defended. 52 degrees at Mendoza. Here's that challenge there. Look at that. He knows the player's going to get there in front of him in their row. And it's a case of beautiful Ole this time. Suarez going for the bullseye from distance. Nowhere near what the height and the power, but wasn't a bad idea. You've seen him do that in practice with his eyes closed back in Barcelona. Flying up and over Otamendi. Well, one, I don't want to call it a controversial decision that Bausa made. It's the unsung Prato up front who's providing a good target. Of course, really, it's Messi, Di Maria, and Dybala that are the weapons, but did not even call in Gonzalo Higuain. Not even as a substitute. Lifted across. Playing back Muslera as the volley comes in from Di Maria. Fusile trying to shepherd him wide. And it will go out for the throw. Yeah, outside of the foot from Messi. Left for Biglia. And trying to steer that one back hard and low. Angel Di Maria, but this man got the eye of the tiger at an eight fill as he does 99 times out of 100. Crowd warming every time he touches the ball. Uruguay starting the day with 13 points atop the comma ball table. Aye, aye. Hard hit. Yeah. Argentina just two points back. Dybala reaches in here. Carlos Sanchez it is. I think that tries to follow through with his kick. And Dybala saying he's sorry it's a high challenge from him once it gets away right there oh i'm not so sure though it's certainly a tough yellow card for dibala reaches around there's no stabbing down with any cleats he tries to flick it away it's a tough one that one give me a break ref he says nope hangs in the air and there's mori coming underneath it starting it up the other way So Carlos Sanchez plays at Monterrey. Funes Mori's brother, Rogelio. Another sometimes Argentine youth national team player. He was the forward, the scorer, the one that actually won that MLS talent contest that popped them to the fore. That's going to stay in play, driven across and met by Otamendi only as far as Corujo who launches it over the bar. And here's the house of derision from the knowledgeable crowd, knowing that he should have done way better than this. This is a dream for Corujo. As it falls to him, nicely controlled, and he lashes it too far over the top. He needs to get just a little, let the ball settle a little lower, by six inches or so, and then he'd have a real good red-hot crack. But that's the way the Uruguayans play, Phil. They wait in the long grass and then they strike. And usually with those players up front, if a ball like that falls to Suarez or Cavani, curtains. Well, Carujo, just one goal to his name. It came against Jamaica back in the Copa America Centenario. That was a far cry from a second. Huh? Romero high into the air and long over Godin. Cutting it out, Silva. Missed his target though, and right back to Argentina. It's Messi with a bit of space. Drives on Orevalo Rios, yeah. who does his job. The disruptor in that midfield. He's angry though that he didn't get better cover on either side of him, and he's letting his players know, Phil. Huge switch, finds Messi, now isolated. Cuts inside of Silva, hits the afterburners to the inside for Di Maria, and Carujo does the trick. Holding on to it too long, and Di Maria gets it back off of Suarez. Wonderful tenacity. It's Dybala, oh! off the post, off the keeper, and out of play. Tremendous tenacity from Di Maria. 
wins it and then loses it. And then it falls to Dybala, who flame throws this shot. Brilliant technique. He's long for the groundsman saying who painted these goalposts because a lick of paint denied Dybala there. Goalkeeper's nightmare. Still no score, though. And now a chance for Uruguay bursting forward. Five if they can hurry, but look at Argentina scramble back. What a response there earlier from Di Maria. He heard the crowd rising and letting him know they wanted better. And once he lost it, he won the challenge twice, I believe, before setting up the man who plays his football in Italy, Dybala, so unfortunate. Pressure from Uruguay. Cavani comes away with it, decked in the midfield by Bilia. And there's that tenacity, but is he over eager here? Cavani stepping away from the play, going in the opposite direction right here, and Bilia costing his team a free kick from a dangerous position against the Uruguay and so like Atletico Madrid make their day by practicing these set pieces till the moon goes to sleep. It will want to be a direct strike from distance. He needs his wall perfectly like the Uruguayan was. This is an awfully long way from El Pistolero to find the back of the net against this big man. Argentina just one clean sheet in qualifying at home. And Uruguay has made a habit of scoring away. Likely Suarez from close to 40. Suarez whips it in low and on the hop. Romero just too far away. Nicely designed though. This is intentionally struck low by Suarez. With that bounce in front of him hoping for the spill. But Sergio perfect. Messi pirouettes. But the ball stayed behind. Carujo. Lodero getting more of a free roll here. But the ground Mascherano covers there once Messi had lost that ball. He is playing outstandingly well here, this man. Look at this again from Mascherano. Otamendi. Dybala. You see Mascherano playing like this in the midfield, you think, wow, he's actually wasted it, Barcelona, and that play. <laughs> Well, you kind of wonder what they're going to do, picking up Umtiti, and sure. you can't take Busquets out. No. There's had been some talk that he might be moved in the window, that he might want to move, but instead a new contract yep. appears. Off to Messi. Oh. Shows it, and then plucks it away from Silva. Sneaks it inside, and Jimenez. Jimenez tracking Prato, and Lionel trying to arrow that ball in here's that tackle there's the second tackle there's the dish off right here and Dybala sizzles this one oh he's so unfortunate that it doesn't get a nod in the back of Moslera there it hits his head and then flies back out Dybala lights it up here the camera kind of keep up with it and Moslera saying where did it go where did it go back to Argentina Mentioned Godoy Cruz, a modest side in Argentina. They are the team that normally fills this stadium, built for the 1978 World Cup. Anywhere near Freya Bentos? Well, that's actually in Uruguay, so the answer would be yes. Ah, there you go. Just saw a big sign there. You get hungry? Yeah, That's some corned beef. Ten minutes left in this half, and it has been a bit physical. Corujo mm. looking all uh, angelic. A bit physical. It's Uruguay. Dybala with a nice turn and pays the price. Again, you have to be accurate, obviously, but you need to hit it into an area where you have to have some fortune of the attacking players if this ball finds its way through this forest, I don't like to admit it, but it's part of the tactics if you get that little break. But it's got to be tacked with a bit of vim and vigor. Godin, Marshall, and his men, they're usually top class at this. Starting gate just inside the 18. Di Maria. Too shallow. Cleared away by Corujo, back to midfield. 
more Africans Cup of Nation qualifying starting things out tomorrow just before noon Nigeria Tanzania Sudan Gabon and South Africa against Mauritania it is a busy busy week in international soccer all of those available on BN Sports Connect Dybala Funes Mori Mascherano Sanchez in good position. In 36 minutes in before he hit his first poor ball, Mascherano is the first to recognize it. Working hard, big Lucas across the lane. Certainly had an El Kun, Aguero type or an Iguayin. The abundance of real dagger men up top for Argentina. But haven't quite produced the goods. And they're looking towards Lucas Prato to just put a variation on their theme. Cavani looking on in disbelief. Yeah, and the yellow might be more mm. for the protest. I think it is, Phil. If it is shown, and it's going to be. Just so annoyed, Godin saying he's going for the ball. Well, the replay will show us. It didn't seem too violent. It didn't seem that he raised his elbows into the face of the player. Let's take a look. Now, it really doesn't. His arms are outstretched, but Otamendi comes in and as much into the arm as anything. But nowadays, Cavani, uh, yep, yeah, that's how he's explaining it. In, in any language, you can understand his frustration. See if that consistency is kept by the referee throughout this game. Right on the far side, Chalk, touched down by Moss. Up steps Mascherano to win it back. No, oh, well played. Prato. Prato Ole. Now it's Dybala, just got away from him, and Silva right in the wheelhouse. But Fortunate Zabayeta doing a wonderful overlap behind him. He would have been in. Nicely again from the big man. Change the point of attack quickly, sharply. Look at these Charuas lined up, moving like a beautiful sky blue mesh across. Windows of opportunity shut down so quickly. Take a real cat burglar like Messi to get through them. He's started to be a little less in this game for the last 10 minutes. Lionel. And there's Mori with a nice little bit of elusiveness. Through Zabaleta in for Mascherano. Messi tries to spin through two. Three. Mascherano gets it off the attempted clearance. Zabaleta for Dybala. Chips it over the pressure. Something Dybala gives when Messi's already out there. Huh? Just a little off, nicely stepping up read. nicely, Bilia. Lidero that cuts that out. Well intercepted. What a pass. Mascherano. Knocked down Di Maria. Oh! Messi tried it on the volley, but it skips off Jimenez to safety. Well said, Phil. Jimenez comes and denies Lionel. Magnificent football here. This ball gets cut back. Mascherano has already got 100 pictures taken in his cerebral camera in his head. Messi pounces. That's headed towards the bottom of the net. Beautifully denied by Jimenez. Jimenez Mori whistled for the push inside. Here's the invite. Guilt edged by Mascherano. The beautiful head back. And that is an amazing save by Jimenez, unlucky boss. Still no score here, but there has been a score in Asuncion, Paraguay taking on Chile. Sixth minute oh. and into the corner, a brilliant goal, Paraguay taking the lead. Oh. Oh. It's Romero. Oscar Romero in yeah. the sixth minute. Sizzler, golazo, indeed. And again, Chile, one of those teams that has been struggling just to touch. Hi, Dominant man. Copa America. Oh. Messi just plucks it away and gets leveled 
Jimenez again. Seems as if it's every time Messi gets the ball, not just for club, but for country as well, but he's just too quick. The control is fine, and then his legs are taken unquestionably. Jimenez reaches in for a ball that's gone past. It's one of those situations you can actually forgive the defender. It's hardly their fault. They've got the challenge for a ball that's there. One second, what a ball again from Mashi. Messi just flicks out his heel to pluck it down. Turn, shoots, drives, oh! deflected. He takes all the responsibility of Argentina on his shoulders and he flame throws this one home. Does it take a deflection? I'm really not so sure. If it does, it's very slight. But Messi, sharp as Vinia. Again, look at the control with his heel. Sets it up, dances, shimmies, shakes. And there is a deflection, as I thought in lifetime. It was suspicious, but the setup either way is just astonishing. But there's definitely a deflection. Messi going to the left side of Muslera, and the ball triggers in off the right. Do you know who it hit, Phil? Looked like it came off the inside of the leg of Jimenez as he nets oh. his 56th goal for Argentina. Well, still more punch about the shot than a barrel full of knuckles from Messi. But unfortunate for Uruguay, and I take one of those golassos away, but it was still a magnificent hit. Good ball! Through the legs, looking for Suarez into Ooh. the box, fights through the challenge, back to his right, oh. and from the ground, it's Javier Mascherano, his Barcelona teammate, to deny. Suarez, superlative here. Wonderful control when we see it again. The hesitation to deny and put the defender on his back like a turtle. And then Suarez has got Cavani on the inside of him as well. Goes for goal, denied. Flicked away, but in the wrong direction. Back to Lodero, the sounder launches it high. Looking for Godin, Funes Mori with the touch. Back into the box, one back by Argentina. Good Sanchez from a, onside, wide. overhead volley, and it bounces just beyond Lodero's reach. The Dero waiting, lurking, hoping. What if it gets through to me at the back post? Nicholas here sets it up over the top. It's nicely won in the end by Godin. Comes back. Right here, Godin wins it. The ball over the top. He's on side. Suarez goes lovely jubbly. But Nico just cannot finish the work. He has that wonderful hesitation. The pullback, ceramic breaks applied, and it hits his teammate, Mascherano. Wonderful defending from the man of the match so far, Mascherano. Wow, somebody just put a light to this Chinese firecracker of a game. Aye. And now what color will it be? Looking, Bascuñan, Argentina pleading. The yellow's already out. He's and gone. It looks like Prato. Nope. It is. Dybala cannot believe what he has just seen. Going in hard on Corujo. Oh, he's in tears as well as he realizes that rash decision. He's been playing with a lot of emotion, Dybala. And Messi really lobbying and saying he's a young kid, you know, give us a break. It's never going to happen. The first one put him on thin ice, Phil, and his lack of experience has cost him here. The youthful exuberance. He's done well there to win it. He That's has the, the one first. earlier with the ball. I thought that was a little harsh. It was a foul, but I'm not sure that it was a yellow card but then this one oh, rather harsh neither one 
Looked like a sure yellow. I think Paraguay back right. on the scoreboard. And it is the veteran Paulo da Silva. Open inside the six. Flicks it in. Two headers equals a second goal. Argentina, meanwhile, in the lead in Mendoza. But they are now down a man. And Bascuñan under attack. Even Romero well out of his area. Pleading the case. Going to First play. half done. And the second half looks like it might have more fireworks in store. Well, Argentina with 10 men. But with the goal lead and playing better than Uruguay. But now Messi knows this is going to turn into a real alley fight. The captain still arguing that the first yellow card was very harsh. The second one was arguably as harsh. Certainly fouls, Phil. But was it reckless play? Was it dangerous play? Lionel Messi certainly doesn't think so. But Argentina is going to have to look deep. They are at home. They are in the lead. But they'll have to defend with 10 in the second half. Brilliant goal with a little help. Messi gives Argentina the lead, but can they hold on? Turbocharged Dream Machine, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, named one of Car and Driver's 10 best 10 years in a row. Cricket's got you covered like a blanket on a pig. Our plants cost little and our network is big. Like a great big gorilla in a pompadour wig. Great is great when big is big. You can text it, like and swipe and stream. It's a great big network of your great big dreams. It's a no job. After seeing 47 DraftKings commercials in a single week, Chuck Boyle finally threw his hat in the one-week fantasy football ring. Chuck and I put up monster numbers that day. We just executed our game plan. With a genius game plan around DeAndre Hopkins, the rookie formed a squad that racked up 276 Jeez. points. For complete strangers, we're hella tight. Yeah, we are hella tight. Make your moment at DraftKings. Play in the free $100,000 contest week one. Use promo code IMPACT. Nothing worth doing has ever been easy, because trying and doing the things that are hard has a way of proving its worth. And at Valvoline, we've spent the last 150 years proving ours. That's why we created Max Life, specially formulated to help fight the hidden signs of aging in cars over 75,000 miles. It's proven to help maximize the life of your engine and to keep you moving forward. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. All rise up for the red, white, and blue. One nation, one team. St. Vincent and the Grenadines versus USA. Tomorrow on BN Sports. Tonight we celebrate a new era, an extraordinary one. We were the ones that brought you the best football leagues and the best footballers on the planet. We also brought you Motor GP and Motor America Championships and created a home for motorcycle racing in this country. Now, with the same love, the same passion, the same dedication, and the same knowledge, we will bring you college football. We already know this thing. Football, football, goals, field goals, yellow cards, yellow flags, tackles, tackles. Are you with me? This halftime is brought to you by Valvoline.
Hey everybody, Terry Lee here for your Express Halftime Show brought to you by Valvoline. We are at halftime between Argentina and Uruguay in a bittersweet first half from the home side. A goal from Messi, uh, but now Dybala is out. Ten men for the second half. We'll show you all the best action from the first half shortly. Here's a look ahead to what's coming up on Tuesday as Commonwealth qualifying continues here on BN Sports. Argentina travel to Venezuela. Bottom of the table. They are going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then it's the marquee matchup for round eight. Brazil back at home to Colombia. Both winners on the day. And that game is going to be uh, joined in progress at 9 o'clock with Peru, Ecuador rounding things off for us later in the evening. So join us on Tuesday. For now, though, it is a 1-0 lead for Argentina. Can they keep it up on 10 men in the second half? Highlights coming up. In 1925, the people of Tacupa, Mexico, created a beer to celebrate a revolution. Modelo Especial. Today, it's the fastest growing beer in America. Why? Because it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial. Brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. For a taste that's pure gold. Mm. Es la hora de mi telenovela favorita. Es el último ah, no. capítulo. No, 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 no. Suena, es la final. Ni resulta. ¿Ya le habló a su hermana? Sí. Oye, ¿y tu yerno? No. Es un bueno para nada. Teletransporta a tu suegra sin fin ni cargos escondidos. Ve a tu tienda favorita y obtén un dólar gratis en llamadas. Buzz Revolution. Une tus mundos. You have a vision. It drives you. It inspires you. It's behind everything you do. Even when you least expect it, it comes through. You know what you want, and we can help make it real. You want choices? We've got lots. Pick a design. Make it your own. And if you get stuck, we can help. Add a special finish. Or try a premium paper. Whatever you choose, we absolutely guarantee the paper, the printing, even your design, every time, for any reason. Because you have a vision, and we have your card. 500 start at just $9.99 when you enter promo code BC500 at vistaprint.com. So, okay, the X's are defense, and the O is for the offense. And the offense is very important, and that will open things up. That leads to a touchdown. That could help them win the game. You got me? Not really, George. Sorry. Okay, well, well let, me, let me break it to you like this. You know, football is not just a sport. In America, it's about bringing a community together. You have shared passions. You have unifying cultural forces. And you also have traditions that are passed down from generation to generation. There's history, there's pageantry. You also have rivalries and intense hatred as well. And it plays out in stadiums, bars, and dorms. But more importantly, the colors of a school stand strong. They stand alone. People fight and die for those colors all over the country. Ray, it's college football. What a win for Georgie in the next school. Get in! Argentina have the one nil advantage thanks to Lionel Messi's goal and a lot of fans of the Albi Celestes are happy that he is back. Let's get to the first half highlights from Mendoza. Of course, the Barca teammates hugging it out. George Dimitellis alongside Thomas Rangan and Thomas, 12 minutes in, Argentina looking very strong. This ball over the top by Mascherano to Di Maria. Possible penalty call there, but was not given. A great run of Di Maria off the ball. And Mascherano has been very good out of midfield, spraying the ball and being the initiator. Di Maria does some hard work to win the ball here in the 32nd minute, and he sets up Juventus's Paolo Dybala, who's a little unlucky. Woo, Georgie, you get one lefty. You got another yeah. lefty. <laughs>
Um, Di Maria's work rate, though, which you rarely see by winning the ball, finding the ball, and then, oh my God, goes near post. And talk about the post, that's what it was. Yep, Musneta off of his head, no goal there. 34th minute, Suarez trying to get himself into the game, but this is easily brought in by Sergio Romero. Good power behind it, around the wall, obviously, at the strong side of the goalkeeper, George. It becomes an easy save. 42nd minutes, the goal would fall, and this is a mistake by Godin with the header. It falls for Messi. And you give him a little bit of space, you know he's going to put it into the back of the net. We talked about two lefties. We're going to add another lefty another right now. <laughs> Great ball in by Maturana. But what happens when you play against players that can take you out of the dribble and with runs in the arc of concentration? Look at that. No pressure in the ball. Messi turns, sees the opening. Thanks for coming. Little lucky with the deflection. one nothing for as you said, Argentina, welcome back, Mr. Messi. Yes, this one takes a deflection, as you mentioned, off of Jimenez. Musleta going the wrong way. And then, oh, it's, it couldn't be a classical without a couple of cards here. Dybala sent off, and it is Argentina up a goal, but down a man heading into halftime. We'll have more of the Vavilin halftime after the break. If you have a business website, now you can get a 20-point checkup from the experts at web.com absolutely free. If you call web.com right now, our experts will conduct a free, no obligation, 20-point checkup on your business's website. We'll include an analysis of your website's content, mobile performance, links, reviews, local presence, and more. The free website checkup was amazing. I could see how my business stacked up against other businesses and what I could do better. Call web.com now for your free, no obligation, 20-point website checkup. You'll even see how your website compares to your closest competitors. I mean, they really just laid it all out there. You know, reviews, performance, recommendations, the whole deal. We couldn't believe it was free. Don't wait another minute. Call today for your free website checkup. Call right now for your free, no obligation website checkup and make your business web strong. Call 1-877-749-6258 now for your free website checkup. 1-877-749-6258. It's the Battle of I-10 as Aggies face off with UTEP in historical rivalry. You can't get anywhere else. Watch the Miners in action this fall. Miners go. New Mexico State University versus UTEP. Saturday on BN Sports. Saturday, the NASL is here. Minnesota United versus Radio OKC. The NASL match of the week on BN Sports. Welcome back, everyone. We use our BN Optics to break down this Lionel Messi goal. And Thomas, it's all about Messi just creating enough space to get the shot off. Well, initially, it's a deep lane playmaker, Macharano, that finds Messi. He gets a very a little bit of a, a force bounce off Godin's head. And then you see the back four is dropping because they're afraid that Messi's going to take him off the dribble. You know what he does? He looks up, no pressure, boom, shoelaces. Jimenez, unfortunately, the deflection, but one nothing for Argentina. They'll take it. Yeah, Messi, the all-time leading goal scorer in Argentine history, gives Mendoza something to cheer about, the city of Mendoza to cheer about. All right, back to studio with Terry. Thanks so much, guys. That is your Express Halftime Show brought to you by Valvoline. We are going to get back to the match shortly. Argentina, Uruguay, 1-0 to the home side, but Uruguay with a man advantage for the entire second half. We'll get you back to the game next. This halftime was brought to you by Valvoline. Nothing worth doing has ever been easy because trying and doing the things that are hard has a way of proving its worth. And at Valvoline, we've spent the last 150 years proving ours. 
like Valvoline Full Synthetic Motor Oil, specially formulated to deliver our best performance and protection to keep you and your engine moving forward. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Llegó la gran venta Freedom de Ford, nuestro evento más grande del año. Regresa el financiamiento de 0% en una enorme selección de carros, camionetas y SUVs de Ford. Más mil dólares extras de bono inteligente en vehículos identificados. Esto es libre de intereses y libre para escoger tu Ford, la marca más vendida en el país. Durante la gran venta Freedom de Ford, recibe 0% en una selección enorme. Además, vehículos identificados reciben mil de bono inteligente. Manuel Mas loosening up and Barcelona with Javier Mascherano, Lionel Messi and the Albi Celeste side, Luis Suarez on the Uruguay side and it will be an all out family war of sorts. Uruguay needs a goal and they have a man advantage. Phil Shane and Ray Hudson with you as you see Mascherano saying well that's what you're supposed to do. You see the opening you launch it long and let him take care of business some words between Messi and Julio Bascuñan Ray at the end of that first half when Dybala was tossed that's non-stop lobbying even as this second half continues it keeps on going the referee giving his status of opinions and Messi I've never seen him argued the toss as much and as long as this. There was no covering over of his mouth. And certainly nothing to be hidden. It was all emotion from Lionel Messi. Wearing the captain's armband and hell. The orchestrator of the first goal. And you saw how much it meant to him with that volcanic emotion display of celebration. Now we know what it feels like to be on the other end. Suarez. Been isolated, hasn't he? Much of this game. Iman Cavani because of the dominance of this Argentina midfield led by this man. Mascherano. Oh. Second half underway, no substitutes, but Argentina missing Dybala, the red card on two. Beautiful touch by Prato again. Soft yellows, Phil Shane, Ray Hudson with you here on BN Sports. Still along the chalk and in play, Di Maria tries to drive it out for a corner, but it will be out for a throw instead. Musleta in goal for Uruguay. Fusili and Jimenez both with cautions. Godin and Silva the back line. Arevalo Rios and Corujo, Sanchez and Lodero. The midfield with Suarez and Cavani up front. Cavani also cautioned in the first half. Only yellows against Argentina, both coming to Paulo Dybala. How is that going to change Argentina? Will it actually change them much no. considering the lineup? Well said, Phil. I'm not so sure. It's a good position if there is one for Argentina to lose. Dybala pretty much playing in the hole behind Prato. Look out. Well, getting behind. Emmanuel Moss, it's oh. soft from Suarez, but the angle was off. It's a good run by Cavani, a hurtful run, but it's a really Marge Simpson haircut of a pass. Neither nothing nor something. <laughs> Nutmegs from Messi. Aye. 
That could work down the line. Cutting to the inside, Suarez again with Cavani. Showing is Sanchez. Here's Corujo again tries it from long distance. Mashidano deflects. Arevalo Rios. The bad giveaway, wasn't it? From Otamendi. And he's advanced position like that. Ooh. Following through on the tackle, Di Maria and Fusile. And he cannot stop his momentum. It's a bad challenge because he's got to get the ball here. But once he goes down, his momentum's going to carry him in to Fusile as he touches it by him right here. The standing leg is taken, and that's certainly a yellow card. No arguing about that one. Dybala looking on is seeing something different. Good opportunity here. Wonderful presentation from Carlos Sanchez for danger in between Romero and that back lane. And wonderful targets to hit, and they'll all be moving. by Sanchez, but a whistle inside. Someone being a naughty boy, and Lionel Messi. Well, he kicked that one away. I think he's tempting the referee just a bit, almost daring him. Not just sure who he picked out for that one. It looked like Suarez maybe holding one of the Argentine defenders, but uh, situations like that, the referee doesn't point out who is the player he's identifying for the foul. Always thought that that would help a lot for the fans if the referee just pointed at him. It's for you. Take a look again. I don't see too much wrong right here. Maybe. So how does Uruguay try and take advantage? He's certainly going to have to be a little bit more aggressive in that midfield area, Phil, and cause a little bit more of disruption in between Messi and Di Maria. Can they flood that area? The Dero, the Carujo, really got to step the game up in that engine room now, make the difference. Even to the extent of dropping back Cavani a little bit more into that midfield. A little off balance, but this the is, pass makes its mark. This is the way to beat it, though, with this wonderful wide play and switching the attack if he can. Oh, dear Maria, I'll do it. There you go. All the way to Messi. Too quickly show. Lodero with a touch to deflect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice from Silva. Lodero back. Well, towards well, Arevalo Rios. Plato again stepping in. His crowd warming to the big man as much for his industry and that type of spirit he's showing. And he showed a little few flashes, Phil, of real good ability as we look at the Paraguay game. Mm, sweet. Good response. Arturo Vidal and Pizzi believes. Lovely glancing header off of the Mohawk. Again, BN Sports 3 on BN Sports Connect. Villa <laughs> might want to count his teeth at the end of this one. You know how many teeth you have? I leave that up to the dentist. Again, Ole, there came. Beautiful. And there's no space for him again. And he doesn't just create magic. It's beyond magic. When we say this again, this is Argentina football. But the highest way from the greatest port of football on God's earth. That's the end result, which shows us nothing, but look at this. Wonderful drag back and then through the legs again, holding him off like a bullfighter. There's a little kiss, and there's nothing more than the Argentine love, more than the tunnel. 
Getting ready to charge in. A second goal would allow them to batten down the hatches a bit. Messi over everyone, but not over the fingertip of Muslera. Well, whether the genius of Messi meant this is anybody's guess. You would never put it past him as an intentional shot. He knows Muslera's coming off his lane, so he sends it with incredible accuracy, wonderful trajectory, and that's a tremendous save by Fernando. From the corner, swinging away, Musleta plays his line and gets some help. Oh. Slammed back into the middle, Goodin tries to clear. Villa coming away, turning. Falls for Sanchez, Silva up the line. The tackle. Stripped away as Bilia feeds Messi the other way. Beautifully read by Bilia. Chips it in. Musle had an easy grab this time. Not this time, but Messi trying to feed big Lucas Prato. Peeled away like skin off a tangerine from his defender. Had lost him, but Messi's pass strangely inaccurate that time. Madero tripped up. Seattle playmaker getting a free kick for Uruguay. Corujo too long as he slips. Yep, as he likes the run from Lucas Prato. Says, keep doing that. Keep fading away from Godin and I'll find you. Now the question is now, how much is this missing man in action going to cost Argentina? Because everything that you're seeing from Edgardo Bauza's men spells a nice balanced team, Phil, for me. It's certainly worth the one goal lead, if not more. And against Uruguay, it's been tough to break him down and they needed a help of that deflection for Messi's goal leading goal but Oscar Tavares is man on the assistance lane there leading the charge knowing that still in this game in a big way man up a goal down Oscar Washington Tabarez, loyal. Celso Otero, the assistant you just saw, Mario Raboyo, been with him for a while. One of those situations for the coaches now, tactically, that man up. It always seems to be a lot easier to fight against 10 men, but often not the case. Ten men sometimes get stronger with that missing man gone and they dig that little bit deeper. And Uruguay really got to go up a couple of gears as this game ticks along. Into the corner oh. and then just a mistouch. Prato on his debut. Won't be his last. Does well again. Oh. 6'2", 180 pounds, big target man. Bowser said the reason he didn't call Higuain up, he didn't think he was in game shape. Yeah. Well, he was right at the start a couple of weeks ago, like Porky. But he does look as if he's really stripped down a lot fitter lately. Pavel by Romero. Mama unable mia. to pop it free. Well, the kill comes and claims it perfectly initially, and it's a good decision. Take it at its highest spot, but as he brings it down, the knee comes up and knocks it out of his grasp right here. And as Cavani flicks for it, it looks like he caught it on the wrist. All right, Phil. A little unfortunate there. Keep your knees down. <laughs> To show that that was a free kick, either a free ball between the goalkeeper and Cavani. It wasn't a wild kick by Cavani trying to stab it away. Hmm. Goalkeeper is getting a bit of protection. 
I don't like it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 12th minute of the second half. Jimenez back to Muslera. The Galatasaray keeper keeping Uruguay in this. Otamendi snapping it forward, or Evelo Rios the other way. <laughs> and Messi makes the defense disappear. Making this crowd gasp. Enjoying himself, and then so enthused to see him back, leading Uruguay a merry dance with the ball tattooed to his feet. And that's the answer to stopping Messi. And Lodero goes in the book. Here you see Messi teasing, tormenting. They're getting nowhere near him. He's kidding them. Raids them beautifully until Lodero hammers through him. Fourth Uruguay player with a yellow card. Crowd. Serenading Messi now with every touch. Zabaleta earns a corner kick. One time best right back in the world. More of a situational player for Manchester City now, but still a sign of Argentina's depth. Tremendous player. It's chilly again, winter in Argentina, 52 degrees in Mendoza tonight. In swinger, Muslera drops back, ball rattles out. Back heel from Lodero, Sanchez looking for an extra gear. Look at Argentina, scramble back and force the bad pass. But hit behind the play, and that's going to be a free kick right at midfield. A second chance for Uruguay. <laughs> Flying back, Moss. Little push from Sanchez. Not quite getting the service that he usually does week in, week out on being sports in the Premier of Spain, is he? Both he and Cavani, starvation diet of service as they've been pinned back so far as a sub comes in to try to really generate unions. Well, see if he can make Argentina cry. Cebollito Rodriguez for Nico Lodero. Ex Peñarol for Ex Nacional. Godin flies forward. Zabaleta. And Bilia will take the throw in. In many ways, Argentina not exactly wasting time, but they don't mind seeing it trickle away. Yeah, you're right, Phil. This game far from being put to bed with 10 men and with Ceballitos coming in. Danger. Sparky player, full of bravery. Not just Charua spirit. Tremendous ability over the years. It has been going on. Rivalry, as we mentioned, more than anyone else has among nations. Check out beinsports.com for more details about the qualifiers. 199th meeting. Rivalry really came into existence in the very first World Cup back in 1930, where Uruguay won in Argentina. Of course, Argentina knocking off the U.S. Ooh. Headed back calmly ah. by Mas. Oh, played. Full of confidence, lovely kiss, header, back into the waiting arms of Sergio. 
Brujo. Half an hour of wonderful St. George against the Dragon. Football left here. It's a good lead pass, too heavy. Like a billiard table as the ball rolls all the way across. Well, Bausa was brought in because under prior managers, these would be the types of games that Argentina might let slip away. Well, he pulled a big rabbit out of the hat before a ball was kicked in his career by seducing Messi back into the fold and certainly has had an effect on both Lionel on an individual extent and his team by the looks of it. This has been a good performance, but Argentina can they hold on against the resurgent Charua. Oh, well played. A chance on the turn, <laughs> upended. <laughs> Corujo, normally a right back, but he's been pushing forward more and more, starting in the midfield today. Zabayeta coming through with a meat and potatoes challenge as well to shut him down, Phil. Timed it nicely. Good Didier turn. couldn't challenge Beautiful. on the turn into the box. Swat has not oh. free. Corujo! And it bangs wide. Corner kick. Juarez does beautifully here. Slippery out of the knee. Eel covered in Vaseline again. We've seen it so many times. Wonderful danger on the turn. Hangs in the air, high. Montemendi to clear. Burst of speed from Di Maria. Changed his boots at halftime. There's that wonderful turn. You see, right on top of him. Funes Mori, and he wriggles away beautifully. Messi waits for the defense to close and passes it off. Mascherano well weighted. Oh. The touch back from Mas, not so much. So lucky though, going for that give and go in tight space there, Mas with Angel Di Maria. Don't forget on the locker room, your chance to see what you loved, hashtag what I loved or que te gusto. Brought to you by Ford. Go further. Messi leans inside, cuts outside, back for Prato, who tried to pull a Messi. Does his damnedest to get it back to the Maestro. Wants to feed back the pass that sets him up with an opportunity, but just closed down by the sky blue shirts. Nicely. Godin. Carujo. Nice width here from Uruguay. On that man, that's the way to stretch the 10 man service in. Silva sends it across. Nah, they... Well, they have the man advantage. Doesn't look like it on that pass. Yeah, but the build up right here again. You see the switch of attack again. Sanchez, the Monterey man, plays it across. Godin. Oh, but now he's out of position. Messi. And that's ridden off shoulder to shoulder. Cebollito Rodriguez with the ball. Yep, fair challenge from Christian. Good ball. Hangs across. High in the air. Otamendi just to get it out of danger. And Romero keeps it in play. Smart play by Argentina. Messi freezes three off to Di Maria. Gets away with him from it a bit. Oh. Poked free. Corujo, who's had a good game for Uruguay. Messi tries to win it back, but straight to Muslera. And we've seen him fight for the ball. All about the 
wonderful silky skills in Argentinian football. You like that fight, and when you've lost it like this, Mascherano will be down on you. Jimenez gets the love tap and a whistle. Action almost done. Uruguay team start their te game together, Phil. There's good width in their attack, and with those two men leading that point of that pyramid now with 11, just starting to sense a little bit of a tilt towards Uruguay. On the turn, Suarez hands in the air as he barrels through, said the assistant. Funes Mori getting in front and... He's got an axe to grind, hasn't he? Suarez. I would give him an axe right now. Held a little bit more by Funes Mori ahead of the challenge from him. Wasn't given. Take a look at the bottom of the table in our live coverage. Benefit given to coverage. the defender again. Peru stumbles, Bolivia jumps above them. Chile, two-time defending Copa America champs are struggling. And after a woeful start, Argentina about to jump to the top of the heap. Maybe. Can they hold on shorthanded? 22 more minutes. Hey. A little risky. Sebo getting the instructions, shouted at him. A little bit sharper on the ball, release it off your foot. We need to pull these 10 men around a little bit more quicker. Unlucky from Cavani. The right pass into Strayed. Paul Fusilli, a little over hit. Uruguay actually more shots than Argentina, seven to six, although seven corners to one in favor of the host. Gaston Ramirez will check in, it looks like. Meanwhile, on the other side, Argentina will also make a switch. Carlos Sanchez out, and the 25-year-old Burrow boy checks in. Meanwhile, for Argentina, Lucas Alario getting set to make his debut. Lovely, and again. Oh, and on stride, but the curl takes Di Maria wide. Yeah, but he loves it here. Freezes Fusile, Nicely. sliced in for Messi. Edge of the six turns, oh. passes. Revelo Rios was there. And Carujo again. One back by Bilia. Mascherano. Messi at the edge of the area, slammed away. Second effort, cushions it off his chest. Oh. The ball giving chase, but Fusile can't get there, and Messi from a tight angle. The squirrel on a telephone wire that is Lionel Messi. Freezes, he has a lovely give and go here, and the referee gets his big backside in the way. This is it. You see him, you cannot contain him, you cannot tackle him. You've got to net him. George Fusilli sees the shadow and sees Messi skip the late fantastic. Well, it looks like Prato's debut is done. Oh, he should get, and he does get, well-earned thunderous applause. He may not be the classic Argentine forward. Oh. Cuneguero or Higuain, Phil. Looks more like a Scottish, <laughs> a Scottish centre forward. But he did a wonderful job leading the lane. One lovely skill as well. And he displayed it. Some nice touches and well played, Lucas Prato. Now Lucas Alario in. One Lucas in, one Lucas out. Different type of forward. Almost a goal every other game for River Plate, earning him his debut. Fusile flying in as Di Maria tumbles. Nothing, said the referee. Another player that's poured himself into this performance is Angel Di Maria. No easing off. 
when he loses the ball. Look at him now, and get back into where he should be. And he's always dynamite with the ball. Again, a man advantage, Gaston Ramirez gets a bit by. fortunate. Di Maria there, good ball. Left foot across, headed back into the middle. Ooh. Cavani just couldn't get there. Flag goes up, I believe, Phil. Suarez saying there's no way it's offside. Take a look, lovely shift. Ooh. Just got caught. He was waiting for the pass on the first run. So, Ray, you look at the bench. Ooh. You have Abel Hernandez, Christian Stuani, and Diego Rolan. So there are still three forwards left and one substitute for Uruguay. But do you pull Cavani, do you pull Suarez? Or do you pull someone else and risk it? Tempting to pull a player out of the back line, Phil, isn't it? Put an extra forward in. You need to keep the pace out there as much as anything. But you're not going to take this man on the ball off. Nodine. Dragging Atletico Madrid by the scruff of the neck, by his willpower. Can he do the same with his national team? Gaston Ramirez out wide, but it skips away from Silva. And he gets taken down. Had a nice influence since he got in. The ex-Penyarol man, Gaston Ramirez, seen a lot of the ball, playing his team slowly back into this game, but Argentina's defense holding out nicely. Argentina still with Lamela and Banega and Gaetan, but it might be more likely to see a Canovic or it's Fernandez. Shying away Silva, chasing into the corner. Alario back on defense. Gets it again, the big oh, man from River and sneaks it through. Football. Messi peels away from Arevalo Rios. Ah. Alario, fancy footwork for a tall man. Sliding in. Mascherano. Actually, that's Zabaleta. No, it is Mache. And Messi with a hit from behind. Maybe a message sent to Godin. No real argument from Uruguay. Ramirez, Rodriguez, Silva. 35 fouls, 15 shots. Good ball. Ramirez Tackle just got again. stuck. Mascherano. Di Maria pirouettes away, but the ball stays in. Out wide, Luis Suarez. Harassed, and Ramirez will retreat. Again, good chance ball. for Suarez in the box. Suarez settles off the knee, lifts it across. It's all he could do. Arevalo Rios tried to touch it. Alario giving chase. And Gaston Ramirez, this man on the ball, Ramirez, beautiful pass earlier for Luis Suarez, the middle's better man. Pulls out one of his types of passes. Here's a challenge from Messi through the back, and that should have been a yellow card, probably. Getting away with one there, Leo, but what a beautiful ball from the new T-side, Gaston Ramirez earlier. What a pass for Suarez. Splits open Argentina down Argentina's left side. Alario came up through Colón. River buying him a year ago. Zabaleta. Arevalo Rios. Only as far as Otamendi. One joker in the deck left for Oscar Washington Tavares. Climbing up that list. Officially a little different, but approaching Sepp Herberger's reign. Oh. Messi almost grabs it, but Godin showing some defensive magic. Approaching 170 games, managing just one national team. Ready, ready. 
Silva. Ramirez, Rebro Rios. Ramirez Great again, delicate again. with the Magic. left foot ball into the goal line. The cross oh. deflected away. Mascherano again. Again. Magnificent. Penetrative ball from the Middlesbrough man, Gaston Ramirez, picking passes out of his hat like the number 10 from Argentina. They are that good. These are beautifully creative, inviting passes over the top of good marking, Phil, but Ramirez recognizing where the run's coming and delivering absolute gems that should have been converted even into more danger. It's the number 10 of Uruguay now that's pulling out some beautiful strings. Another player out of Peña at all. Went to Serie A at a young age and struggled, but like fine wine. Oh, Getting better again. with age. Suarez almost to the deflection. Again, the number 10, Gaston. Pulls it out. Beautiful. Surgeon scalpel ball from this man. Takes a go himself on a hop to Romero. Tasty performance, but guess where he's from? Frey Bentos. Hey! Look at that pass. Beautifully delivered. Pixel perfect, not with this one. Getting a little bit too adventurous there. Sticks to his passes, he's going to do brilliant. Down a man, but up a goal. Messi and Godin again in the way. Wonderfully read. Carujo switching. Delario that took off, inviting Messi's pass into him. Wonderfully contained, as you said, Phil, by Diego Godin. Wow. 12 minutes and change, perhaps, for the Churruas. They're piling it on now. Basile. Carujo covering at that right back position. Good ball. Looking for Suarez ah. just over the boot of Ramirez. Eladio actually playing out on that right wing, dispossessed. No way out, no help in support. Sense that certainly these last 10, 15 minutes, Argentina starting to tire out a little now as, as Uruguay pull them about. Look at this. Cut to the inside, Rodriguez still loose at the box. And Romero just gets it out of danger. Revelo Rios spent half a season with Chicago, but didn't take to it. Off to Tijuana and then some, now with Chiapas in Mexico. No sign of any of the subs coming in for... Edgardo Bowser from the Argentine bench, holding faith with the chemistry of his team. But senses this game certainly tilting Uruguay's way. As Musacchio Mercado as defenders, if he wishes, Kranovitter and Hernandez in the midfield. But it's working so far. Yep. Big danger to contain in this Uruguay inside when the Bombing on like this, look out. Well, just too far for Fusile. And they're making the runs for Gaston Ramirez and everybody else. Nicely covered. Argentina on the road to Venezuela on Tuesday. They'll take on Peru and Paraguay in their next matchups before the showdown with Brazil in mid-November. Uruguay back home to take on Paraguay in their next match on Tuesday. Leaving Messi as the lone wolf up now, trying to contain this wide attack from side to side. Uruguay pulling them around. Still plenty of time left on this clock. Good ball. Ramirez gets the deflection. Oh. Suarez in a battle with Funes Mori. Good defending, Phil. And he knows it. Very Swept sharp and quick. Ramiro. Digging in deep now, Argentina. 
and still got that focus that Funes Mori just demonstrated there, containing the Tiger that is Luis Suarez. Eight minutes remain in regulation. Is it going to be enough for Uruguay to hold on to the top spot? Still a long way to go. In fact, mentioned the return leg is going to be a year from now. And they still will have more games. You like the qualifying? They used to have the two groups of five, but then you'd never have an Argentina-Brazil. Mascherano. Back in from Mas. Di Maria, Mache. Close. Ramirez. Mascherano down hurt. And Argentina will take the opportunity to catch their breath. Ramirez sees where the intentional pass is coming across. Tries to reach in to block it. There's nothing there for me. I don't think that's a foul. Mascherano's foot continues to travel through and catches Gaston Ramirez. Bausa patiently patrolling the touchline on the far side. Uruguay warming up their guns and Argentine about to enter here. Eighty-fifth minute. <laughs> Nico Gaetan, so they will put some fresh blood in the midfield. And it will be Di Maria to come out. A wonderful performance for me. Full of his usual vibrant, gutsy play. Driving on. Lovely passing. His industry is always reflected and undersung, I think, by his brilliant ability with his passing and silky play. But mm, cover some ground, Di Maria. Not a lazy player at all. I want to rest on his skillful laurels. So will Bouse's mm, debut good hold. Good ball. Ball oh. in and just missing the run of Ramirez. Oh. Right there, Phil. Just a half a yard in front of Gaston Ramirez, who continues to show his fangs. Just with the passing, but then with that brave bar barreling run, inviting the pass into that dangerous area. Nico Gaetan, 17th appearance for the 28 year old. Rejuvenated his career at Benfica and just moving to Atletico. Delicate inside, chested across, but the flag comes up, just missing the opportunity. And another substitution about to enter. This was close. Just by a head. Diego Roland, the last player to come in, the last roll of the dice mentioned. He had Abel Hernandez and Christian Stuani, but it will be the 23-year-old from Bordeaux. See him in our league and coverage here on BN Sports. Edge of the 18 and Muslera over quickly. Jorge Fusile, the right back who had a caution, will come out. So, as you said, they've taken out a back, but only three minutes and change left. 
Is it enough for a goal? Doing a good job of making this extra man count here, Uruguay. To a large extent, it's been pretty much one-way traffic this second half, but no way through. Well-organized Argentina side. Roland tries to turn. You heard the clash of pads, but oh, they're going to say goal kick off of Roland. Anyway, as you said, they've had the possession, but how many times has Romero really been tested? Oh. And here's the goal. It's a wonderful look. You'll see the deflection. Cruelly isolate Muslera. And he turns into a garden gnome right here. Nothing he can do. Brilliant control here from Messi to keep that ball alive. That alone. But then look at the identifying. It's a nano second that he's got. And he turns it into a terabyte of skill. Four but, defenders surrounding him. He's playing him like a marionette master. Well, again, though, let's be fair. I mean, it's cruel on Uruguay that it took that deflection, but it was heading towards the opposite corner when Messi struck it. Who knows with Messi? He may have used Jimenez as a deflective shield. <laughs> Would guess at this point only about three minutes of added time. Ball skips away from Ramirez, who then fouls Mascherano in an attempt to win it back. With Fusile exiting, Mati Corujo has dropped back to his natural right back position. Not being that reckless. Ay, ay. Romero. Will take his time as someone wants their moment in the spotlight, and now even more do. 90th minute. Security people coming through, and this man just wants to worship at the feet of Messi and say thank you. But Messi dealing with it nicely. <laughs> Did that just, used to happen when you it's played? The hardest tackle. It, one of the hard tackles at Messi's head, but from the fans, this music of his name around this stadium will mean a lot to him as he heads back on the jet plane, back to Barcelona, answering the critics tonight, and really enforcing his own decision to come back into the national team. And Ray, it might seem like everyone loves him, but you know, following your beloved Argentina, there are some fans out there that pin the blame on him for those three defeats. And I think it was the weight of that expectation. Having to win World Cups and Copa Americas, and if you lost, it's all your fault that led him to make that decision. Cavani. Oh, Roland's on if he can find him. This man is Cavani. Cavani. And he has to run into Moss to try and get it back. More time off the clock. Gets himself right in between the ball and knows that Cavani's got to produce something ultra special to get around him. Messi brings it down and takes the hit. Ramirez might have been going for the ball, but Messi got there first. And another yellow against Uruguay. Mm. Didn't look as if there was that heavy of a contact, but Evidently, there was. This man does not stay down like this for nothing. Doesn't milk it. Let's take a look. It's beautiful control, and there's the kick through onto that right standing leg. And Messi instantly feels something. He's had a good game. This man, Gaston Ramirez, 
he didn't need to resort to a wild hack like that. Let's just hope it's on that outside and looked like it might uh, tend into the groin muscle as the leg was planted. Messi scoring his 56th goal. It's the difference in this one. Mm. Two minutes left to go. The armband weighing heavy. They think, I think it's been an inspiration to him. Poked free at the last moment and a good chance for Uruguay. Gaston Ramirez almost dispossessed. Now he Ooh. is. Tries to win it back in a tangle with Gaetan. Uruguay realizes time is running out. Mm. Final minute. Otamendi again. Well won. And now it's Messi, and he's got oh, help in Mascherano. He's got more than him. Mache with help Ball. out wide. Nicely. Waiting Gaetan, oh. and he'll never get the shot away. Advantage played down to our final 40 seconds. Godin, the big man up front. Good ball, need to get in the box as well. Godin, and he is. Lays it down the line, a chance on the turn. Good ball! Rodin. In, Jimenez tried to get there, still in play. With the right foot, the off foot of Gaston Ramirez. Chipped back in, Corujo. Oh. Down to the near post, and Romero gets there. But offside would have been the call, and it is. Great counter from Argentina and a counter counter from Uruguay. Seesaw football, thrills and spills like Space Mountain. The final ball delivered, it's a great call by this linesman. Sometimes it's amazing how they make them and it's that tight. This one is won by Otamendi. Messi does brilliantly well to spot the inside run of Mascherano. He delivers an inch perfect pass. Mache helps it on. But then it all goes into the funny house of mirrors. Four and one ain't going to happen. So the last chance for Diego Roland ends in the offside call. And Uruguay, with the man advantage for much of the game, cannot score. Argentina taking the top spot in the group with a one nothing win. The headlines will be all about Messi. Not just about his goal, which slashed the tires of a brave Uruguay side. But it was Messi... The cream that rises to the top, invariably. He heard his name sung around the stadium with gusto here. He led his team with the captain's armband, and he had great support by his teammate in Mascherano. All in all, a very, very tight game, as expected. High wire football, but this was the difference. Is Messi. Dybala was close. But Messi again, the difference. This match was brought to you in part by 